Hello, my name is Jay Ramos and welcome to this video of how to set the environment variables for Java when the pentahost.bat file will not launch. Now, let's take a look at the issue. We have to go to the pentahost folder, data integration, and let's try to open the spoon.bat file. Okay, as you can see here, um, the file didn't launch. So let's try again, just to confirm this. Okay, so it means that we need to add some variables to the system. And in order to do that, uh, we have to go to this PC, properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, Click new to add a new variable. The first variable that we are going to add is pentaho underscore java underscore home. Now we need to get the value for this variable, which is going to be uh, the location of the Java folder. So let's go to the C drive. Then we have program files in program files x86. Uh, so in program files I have uh, the latest Java version as you can see here. But I also have the same uh, Java for 32 bits that is on program files x86. So you can use uh, any of those uh, folders. But in this case, and also my computer is uh, 64 bits, uh, let's use uh, the one that is on program files. But you can use the other one as well. So Java, and we have to take this, uh, select this folder, and we have to take uh, this uh, path location. And let's paste the location on the variable value. Click OK, and OK. Okay, sometimes if we add this variable, it could work and Pentaho launches, but let's try. We have to go to the Pentaho folder again. Data integration. And try to run the spoon uh, batch file. Okay, as you can see right here, this is the variable that we added. But anyway, it's still not working. So it means that we need to add one more variable. So let's go again to this PC, right click, properties, advanced system settings, and environment variables. Click new. The variable name is going to be pentaho underscore di underscore java underscore options. With this variable, we are going to uh, increase the java heap memory size, and the value that we are going to use is this one, minus xms. 1024M. Let's click OK. 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 We can close this window now. And let's try to open a spoon uh, batch file again. The first time it takes around 30 seconds to launch. OK, there you go. Okay, now the uh, file is opening and it is working now. Thank you for watching this video.